I don't know if you've noticed this in Python yet, but some people are explicitly specifying that they are returning none from a function. Why is that? Well, there are two main reasons. The first being that some devs enjoy the benefits of type safety and specifying a return type helps ensure you don't make a silly mistake and return something that you're not supposed to. For example, here we are specifying that we are returning none, but what would happen if we return something different? So what I'm going to do instead of printing is return the f string of hello and name. Since we specified none, our code editor and also our static type checker is going to be able to warn us that we're doing something silly. Expected type none got a string instead. Without this type annotation, we would never know we did something wrong. So it's a good way to be extra explicit. And it also saves us the trouble from trying to have to debug this later. Because right now, if we were to greet this fellow human here, you'll notice that we're not going to get any output, even if we thought we did everything correctly. Another reason is that it helps with self-documenting the code. Here we specifically state that this function will do something, not that it will return something. And that can be really useful for debugging since you understand what the function does faster just by reading the function's signature. In this example, we have a function called add, which takes an arbitrary amount of numbers using args and it returns none. So we know immediately this is not going to return to us the actual sum. Now, don't get me wrong. This is an awful name for what we're doing. It would be nicer to say display sum or print sum. That would be a lot nicer. But even if we messed up on the name, we can understand just by the function's signature that this is a function that displays information or that does something. And because of that, we can call the function and understand immediately that we do not have to print what it returns because it returns none. And this was an oversimplified use case because obviously add is a terrible name for what we're doing. Print sum would be much better. 